Interrate tensing. Now a verdict could come down today in that retrial. The former University of Cincinnati police officer charged with the shooting death of Sam DeBose during a traffic stop in 2015. Nine on your sides. Allie Kramer is live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse this morning. So Allie, today is the first full day of jury deliberation. It is Chris. They only got about three and a half hours yesterday, but I say only, but that's quite a bit of time. 25 hours is how long that jury took the first time around. It's anyone's guess what it could take this time around. Completely new jury, so maybe half that time. They'll get here about 830 this morning, and something that will certainly be on their minds is those closing arguments. It was each side's last time, last opportunity really to address those jurors openly and kind of hammer home, hammer home some of their most important points. Now, Assistant Prosecutor Stacey DeGraff and Reed put together a puzzle, as she called it, showing jurors how each piece added up to a conviction. But then defense attorney Stu Matthews went on the attack. It's really a common tactic in high profile trials. He reminded jurors about the felony quantity of marijuana and the large amount of cash that DeBose had in his car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would submit to you that Sam DeBose knew that he wasn't going to go home from that traffic stop if he allowed Ray Tensing to continue his investigation and discover that marijuana. He had a felony quantity of marijuana on his person and in his car, and he would have been locked up and taken down here to the Justice Center. It was just an attempt at character assassination of Sam DuBose. Evidence in DeBose's car and pointed to the one witness or really piece of evidence that seems rock solid. He's right in saying that the body camera video cannot lie, but it can be very difficult to see that split second shooting. So the miracle of video, the ultimate witness, that video has no bias, that video is completely independent, and that video let this case go forward. So Chris, jurors are determining uh, two charges, murder and voluntary manslaughter. Here's how it works. First, they only consider that murder charge. If they cannot come to a unanimous agreement, that's when they can move on to just consider the voluntary manslaughter charge. So you're not really weighing both at the same time. If convicted, Tenzing is facing up to life in prison on the murder charge. He's facing up to 11 years on the voluntary manslaughter charge. Reporting live this morning, Allie Kramer, and on your side. Allie